fall off. If y'all don't start commenting and sharing and subscribing, it's going to be me and y'all. Yeah. Stop playing with me. Comment. Hello, my fault. Go to the video. Hello. Some of that royalty. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Neek G, the host, and today I'm back with another reaction video. Before we go any further, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. You dig what I'm saying? What the goddamn hell you leave? Y'all, listen. I had to do this video over because it's so much shit to, to unpack here in this situation. I just want to make it 10 minutes, 8 to 10 minutes, and get it right on up out the way. So that's what we're going to do. Now, listen. In this particular situation, I knew DDG was going to go through some mess because he just had been trolling Pretty Boy Fredo for like a week. No, for like a month now, okay? So DDG is absolutely getting his rightful dues of trolling Pretty Boy Fredo and trolling him real bad. So Pretty Boy Fredo, if you don't come out with some videos right now, you are crazy. Where are you at? I don't know why you so quiet, but this will be your time to uh, rain hell on his demise, okay? Now listen. I do love DDG. I'm a fan of DDG. I think he's a hustler. He's a young king out here getting his money. However, he has absolutely made a, a, a terrible decision because this ain't even a mistake from everything that I'm hearing that I've heard at this point. So listen, nobody cheated on nobody, by the way. This is a video that I got to put out, but this is going to come after this because I already got the thumbnail made for it. But I just want to put it out there that DDG should have never unfollowed Hallie ever. She is, ain't even, listen, no woman is a person for you to unfollow. But what I mean is when he has millions of followers, she has millions of followers. Uh, someone's going to notice. Duh. So he unfollowed her and all hell has broken loose. Now I want to put this in this here because y'all need not even going to understand where I'm coming from about the Ruby situation. I feel as though, cause what I'm going to say is DD, DDG should have never unfollowed Hallie, and this is absolutely his fault for all this drama. Now, what I mean is he has put a lot of negativity into the universe and what you put out, it comes back, okay? So what he has done is put a lot of neg negativity out there and now his foot broke, you know what I'm saying? He beefing with his shorty, unfollowing her on the gram for no reason. And now, you know, he's just going through a whole bunch of shit. Now, DDG uh, has been exposed by Ruby, about sliding in his DMs, uh, excuse me, her DMs on Twitter, okay? So let me just scroll up to where all of this is or whatever. Um, basically, DDG said he know what it looks like, but, you know, ain't what it seemed. And he's talking about Hallie and, and Ruby wearing the same damn shirt. I just want to put this out there. It is a possibility for Hallie and, and uh, Ruby to have the same shirt. If you ask me, I feel like Ruby had the shirt looking at it in the closet, seeing Hallie had on her own damn shirt and decided to say that bullshit. I just don't feel as though uh, Hallie was wearing Ruby's shirt. A, B, Hallie got too much money to put on another bitch shirt. I mean, you could go to your man's house, look at a shirt and say, oh, this is a woman's shirt. Throw that bitch to the side and put on your own. You get what I'm saying? I just, I think that that's cap. I just want to put that out there. So that whole shirt shit, I just don't, I feel like that was Ruby's way to get in the door to torture DDG. 111 in the chat. Now, after that, this girl said that DDG was weird. He told her she was mid and, you know, he decided to give a speech in, in mid uh, exposure Everything is good internally. This whole situation was foreshadowed. I know everybody wanted me to be the bad guy, but I'm really not. He is because he shouldn't have never unfollowed her ass on Instagram. You have absolutely brought this on yourself. Now, now that was towards the tweets. No, that was towards the tweets. Okay. Uh, he said, now this is when um, Ruby got to exposing DDG. She said, don't believe nothing. She say she been stuck on me for two years. She hurt. So Ruby came out and said, he mad I wouldn't go home with him after Carisha's party. Now, I want to go to Ruby Rose account because Ruby has her, you know, what she exposed on him. Um, she said, all boys are the same. This is why she's single. This is DDG allegedly sliding in her DMs on Twitter. He asked when she's still in LA. She said, yeah, now I know what YWO means, what you own. He said, uh, excuse me, she said, getting ready. How about you? You hit me the day y'all argue is so you, LOL. He said, LOL, you right, let me go heal first. Now, he definitely 
was uh trying to see you know what she had going on like earlier me and tt had a whole conversation in the last video i might you know upload that to for our conversation about it but the nigga was sliding in her dms to see what she was on he was beefing with his shorty you know what i'm saying obviously he was trying to be on some fuck shit now i feel as though this was probably the day he went to Carisha's party. Excuse me. They went to Carisha's party because what you want, it was almost like he knew what she was doing or what she was getting ready for. I don't know. And for her to say she getting ready, getting ready for what? You know what I'm saying? Which could have just been, you know, Carisha's party or whatever. So Ruby said that, you know, the nigga mad because I didn't go home with him after Carisha's party. He said, that's cap niggas not pressed over you. She said, uh... DDG says she's weird and been trying to get back with me ever since I moved on. Hence, she ain't got another nigga since. <sighs> DDG, why? If if that were the case, you wouldn't be in her DMs trying to see what she was on. She would be in your DMs trying to see what you was on. He's not winning in this situation right now. So, my people guided me to go to, to Shay Room and get this ah, response. I hate this bitch. Oh my God, I hate this bitch. So oh this is allegedly God. DDG reacted to Ruby Rose putting out their DMs. This is a face of I done fucked up. <laughs> ah, I hate this bitch. So, oh my God, I hate this bitch. DDG, oh DDG saying that the uh, DMs are photoshopped. Hallie also came out and said that, you know, the devil is working, LOL. Please don't feed into the lies, especially from a third party. Um, stay blessed. It's, it's, it's almost as though Hallie is confident in, um, you know, all of this being capped. You know what I'm saying? So, um, I don't know what it is DDG has shown her, you know, but she believes him. You know what I'm saying? Um... He went at this girl, told his girl her chin was fat, and, you know, Hallie is fine. Uh, you know, everything good. They hashed out the situation the other day. You know, I'm just going to stick with he shouldn't have never, ever, ever unfollowed her on Instagram, knowing damn well that y'all was going to continue to be together. Y'all listen. Earlier in my video, I was just trying to state that um, DDG started this. It's always who started the shit. Why did this happen? You know, um, and y'all actually came out and told me that Hallie was the one who exposed all of the DMs before DDG even had a chance to say anything crazy about her. I feel like she seen Hallie and DDG on their demise, but she only seen Hallie and DDG on their demise by him unfollowing her on Instagram. Had he not unfollowed her on Instagram, y'all, we probably wouldn't even be talking about this shit right now. Okay, y'all telling me to go back to Shade Room. What, what, what's the problem? Ruby, not Hallie. You said Hallie. I said Hallie about what? See, I can't do this with y'all because now I'm getting confused. What did, I, what did I say Hallie about? Ruby exposed the DMs. Dropping the DMs. Y'all, didn't didn't Ruby drop the DMs? So you saying I said that Hallie dropped the DMs? Oh, okay. My bad. I said Hallie on accident. They know damn well Ruby dropped them DMs. Not Hallie, y'all. That was come on now. Um The Shade Room. What am I looking at on the Shade Room? DDG sister responded. Okay. Where is that at? DDG sister said it's on site. <laughs> the older sister. You call me every time you see me with a new nigga talking, talking about what well, talking shit about them. I'm single because I don't play that shit. You know that. That's why you went to a calm girl who will put up with it. Shade room teens. Instead of doing all these Amazon finds. Oh my. I still love you. You are mine. Okay. You can call. You can. Y'all tell Ruby Rose I want all the smoke. 
I owe that bitch an ass whooping anyway for that shit she pulled with my mama and sister. Oh, Lord. Well, Hallie may be a calm girl, but DDG sustain. <laughs> she ready to scrap. And we all know Ruby hell, man. We all know Ruby is hell. I just feel as though um, DDG need to not ever unfollow her again. That's all I got. Uh, I want this to be 10 minutes and not 30. Y'all let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hell yeah.